Hello, this is Dr. Brian Weiss, and I'm continuing our series, our YouTube series on past lives and past life regression and the questions that you've sent me that I attempt to answer in this forum. So today we'll be focusing a bit on dreams and how dreaming can be a doorway into your past lives. And I'm taking this from the questions that you have submitted to me. So the first question from Baron, do the dreams that we see while we are asleep relate in any way to our past lives? And yes, Baron, this can be the case. Sometimes we can dream past life symbols or scenes or images, and these are not Freudian metaphors or Jungian metaphors or distortions, but actually past life memory fragments emerging into our dreams. And some of these questions will get even more into this topic. Shona asks, are lucid dreams that involve me being someone else related to my past lives? I have dreams where I know I'm that person, but that person doesn't look like me now. I can see out their eyes and I can watch me like a movie. I can sense everything they do. I had a dream where I died giving birth in a stone house with a dirt floor outside of a castle. I also had one where I was an abused wife of an Irish American in the 1800s, and many more. And these are some of the examples in Shona's experiences. When we dream of ourselves in a different time, in a different place, sometimes ancient times, that can actually be a past life memory fragment emerging into the dream. In the dream state, our left brain, our ego mind, is relaxed. It's not working so hard, putting up blocks and obstacles, and we can go deeper into our meditative abilities, we can go deeper into the right brain. And these images and scenes of past lives can come out, whereas when we're awake, we tend to block these things. So dreams sort of, and the dream state, lower the bar. Past life images can emerge that would normally be blocked in our waking state. And in Shona's examples, this is how it works. You dream of yourself in the 1800s, People dream of issues, symptoms, and sometimes past life answers are in the dreams. This is a kind of regression. So when I, in doing hypnosis or hypnotic inductions or meditative inductions, put people into deeper states, the dream state is doing that. You're doing it without the therapist going into this deeper state. You can have past life experiences in your dreams, and it is very valid. <clears throat> Nisha asks, does seeing strange and vivid dreams with people you've not met before or places not seen before tell or indicate anything about past lives? And of course, yes. Sometimes you don't recognize the settings. You've never been there before in your everyday conscious life. You may dream of yourself in ancient China or ancient Africa or ancient South America and you've never traveled to these places in your current life but in the dream it's showing you that you have been there before in your past lives. Sanchaita writes, is it possible that someone we haven't met for maybe 29 years still crosses in our dreams and we interact with them in our dreams as if we were two souls well acquainted with each other? And of course, yes, many mystical experiences can also happen in dreams, not only past lives. And you can dream about the future as well as Shirley asks, Dr. Weiss, I have very strange dreams that sometimes come true. If this is a gift, what can I do to know what they mean and how do I communicate with the masters? Well, precognitive dreams are dreams of the future and many people have had these and they come true. Not all the time, but sometimes. We can dream of the future. And I write about this a lot in my book, Same Soul, Many Bodies, and talking about the future, possible futures, and how the dream can indicate this to you too. So pay attention to dreams. And I find one way, some of you may ask me later on, how do I remember my dreams? Well, before you even get out of bed in the morning when you wake up, either have a tape recorder next to your bed, dictate into it, or a notebook, write down your dreams, even before you go to the bathroom if that's possible, because 
so quickly we forget our dreams. And if you get into the habit of recording, writing down your dreams, this will improve your memory for the dreams and you'll be able to remember even more. And the last question comes from Niha. Sometimes my father comes into my dreams in the morning time. He is no more. And every time he tries to guide me, like I am doing something good, he tries to signal me that he is happy and the same when he is sad. Please tell me about this. These are psychic dreams. We all have them. We can have dream visits from the other side. Once again, the barrier is lowered. The blocks are removed. The veil is lifted. And having psychic experiences or past life dreams, even more likely, when we're in that dream state, we open the door and all of this very valuable, important material, information, comes through. Past lives, meetings of our loved ones who have died, connections to the other side, precognitive dreams of the future. All these are possible. All these are possible. And this ends the questions for today. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And I hope um, your dreams are instructive. I hope they are wise. And I hope that they help you along your spiritual journey. Until the next time, goodbye.